Welcome to All Things Moore County, Moore County's weekly radio show, highlighting the many facets of the Sand Hills. That includes real estate, lifestyles, community and neighborhood. And now, from Four Properties, here's your host, Bill Sahadi. Good morning. Welcome to the talk show, All Things Moore County. We're um, we're back at that time again, Dorothy. Um, close to the start of spring, even though we had some snow this yes. week. I think it's over. Let's hope so. Well, it's supposed to rain the next couple of days, and my prediction is by next weekend, um, which would be the weekend of March the 6th, 7th, and 8th, mm-hmm. we're probably going to have our first spring weekend, as hard as that might be to imagine today. Well, it's the weekend of the spring home and garden show, so I hope we have some spring. Yeah. And ev- some hint of spring. Every year we talk about the spring home and garden show as one of the first rites of spring in Moore County, yep. th- with the Masters being the second rite of spring yep. in April. So that's pretty um, good company to be in. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> we have a, a, an interesting show because we have some uh, great builders on who are members of the Moore County Home Builders Association. Wayne Haddock from Pinehurst Homes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Ben? I'm good. Good, good to see you. Ken Bonville, um, who is a board member with the um, Moore County Home Builders, uh, president of Bonville Construction. Good morning. How are you? Good. How about yourself? Good. And and a return guest and a friend, Denzel Williams, um, the owner of Integrity Builders of the Sand Hills. And Denzel is always involved in, um, or the committee work, I guess, Denzel, with the Moore County Home Builders. You've been a very proactive uh, member over the years that I've known you. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Bill. How are things going? Going great. Thank you. Um, the show is going to be Friday March the 6th from 12 to 5, Saturday, March the 7th from 9 to 5, and Sunday, the 8th of March from 11 to 5. And this year, Wayne, you've moved um, to the Fair Barn in Pinehurst. Yeah, uh, we've relocated at the Fair Barn in Pinehurst. Yeah. And uh, uh, we're really looking forward to, uh, you know, having our home and garden show there. Yeah. Uh, the uh, all the booths have been completely sold out. Right. You know, as so we don't have any any other space for any vendors or builders to be there, it should be a wonderful show. The last couple of years, um, attendance has been up. It doesn't matter where you guys have been. Um, you've been different venues. It would be great to see you um, just create like one home base, uh, a permanent place where people will always know to associate more county home builders with yeah I, I personally would like to see that myself i uh, uh you know very fond of, of you know the village of pinehurst right. over, with the fair barn you know it's it's a magnificent building you know structurally when you stand there and look at it from a builder standpoint but, right you know it feels uh feels more like home there to be honest with you how many each year it seems to me that the uh, spring home and garden expo gets bigger and bigger you draw more um, uh, booths, um, and you get more attendance from a lot of different people in Moore County. And the demographics are changing so much that you see each year that the younger families coming in. It's um, it's not your uh, your father's Pinehurst anymore, is it? No, no, not at all. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it, it it's great to be honest with you. We've got uh, you know a lot of young families and younger folks moving into our area. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know, Pinehurst, uh, Moore County, Southern Pines, Aberdeen is, is growing and in, uh, in the right directions. Yeah. Uh, you know, we we still are basically a retirement type community, but uh, you know, we're getting a lot of residents that uh, you know they're they're not seeking retirement. They're still employed and working, and you know, it's. Uh, you might need to put a babysitter service outside of the building just to take care of some of the kids. That's kind of what's been happening here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wonderful. It's like a. Kind of like a great uh, blood transfusion, really. <laughs> what um, Ken? Each year, the um, the Spring at Home and Garden has had different themes, or they've had a different emphasis on uh, different aspects of con- the construction industry. Uh, is there a main focus this year that people will see when they come to the show? Boy, it's a question that I think Denzel might be able to answer okay. better since he's on the committee. There you go. So. Actually, Bill, uh, there isn't one this year. Um, it's uh, we've we've about run out of themes to okay. to, to uh, chase, but um, okay. it'll still be uh, very long, much along the lines as the past years. People um, who come to the show, couples, people who might be um, uh, building a home or looking to buy a home. There's going to be a lot of information they can learn about different products. 
um, uh, for design reasons, design tips, construction tips, um, uh, landscaping tips. It, it runs the gambit, doesn't it? It's yeah, and that's the whole purpose of our home and garden show is to give our local citizens right. an opportunity to uh, meet face to face with some of the vendors and suppliers that they want and uh, builders who choose to uh, show their wares there. Um, so not only is it to, to for a benefit from the home building industry and our associates, but uh, we hope it's a benefit to uh, the public at large to see what's going on. Um, real estate and construction in Moore County is always one of the most important topics that people talk about. Um, Moore County is growing um, and um, there's always conversation about um, construction, um, the different neighborhoods that are popping up. Um, there's a lot of new construction going on and a lot of uh, people who are doing a lot of renovating at the same time, Wayne, which you get very involved with yeah. as well. Um, so they have a chance to talk with you, with Denzel, with Ken, with different builders, um, eyeball to eyeball. Um, and my guess is that it's more of an educational situation. It's not necessarily that you're selling something as much as you're just informing them. But that's, that's so true. I mean, yeah, we do a lot of renovations and restorations, and, and they'll do new home construction also. But, but it is an opportunity for the public to come in and, and to talk about, you know, what it might would cost to, and, you know, enclose a, a screen porch or doing a, a master bedroom addition to their home or, right. you know, the cost of construction of a new home. Uh, you know, which can vary, you know, quite a bit depending on, you know, what is actually selected to go in that home. Right. But uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. And then not only what the, the builders have a lot to bring to the table with the public that they can question, you know, what things actually cost from, from that point of view. You know, we've got vendors there that, you know, like Ferguson, uh, you know, Premier Lighting, uh, Furnace Lighting, Plumbing Supplies, uh, Flooring uh subcontractors and contractors or tile folks uh, mm -hmm. I mean the, the the amount of folks that are in the in the show or you know the quality is really there and uh, it, it's just a grand opportunity for someone to you know to to not only enjoy the day but to, to gain you know some some views of what things may cost there's so many homes in Moore County that have some age on them um, older homes but in great neighborhoods on great lots so there's a subculture of uh, people who like to redo, who like to renovate, bring homes up to um, current standards. So remodeling is a is a key element of the the show each year, is it not? It is. Yeah. It, it truly is. And you know, it's uh, you know, with Piner's Tone, we offer design build from start to finish and take it through. And you know, it's uh, uh, it takes a lot of patience with the builder and the homeowner. Uh, you know, with with the you know renovation. I've had the privilege of working with you and working with Denzel um, through uh, both renovation and new construction process. Ken, we haven't yet, but that doesn't mean we won't. Right. And I've watched both Denzel and Wayne and how they operate and how they communicate and um, ha how they have to be flexible and how they have to um, uh, not just stick to a plan. They have to be able to work directly with the um, consumer, and you guys both do it exceptionally well. Um, almost to a point, almost to a fault where you do so much and it, I don't know that it always gets appreciated. Um, it's almost like in our, our world today, people just expect to have certain things done and um, they don't realize how much you guys as builders bend over backwards to, to make things happen. Yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, you learn with experience. I mean, you know, it's, you know, Ken and Denzel, you know, I uh -huh. have a lot of respect for them, and uh -huh. I know they, all of us, you know, there's so many things that uh, uh, that happen, but there's three times that much stuff that doesn't happen because we handle it before. That's right. And people never see that. You and, know. and you never get any credit for it. No, yeah. no well, that's okay, yeah, but it, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. D Denzel and I, we had a situation just like that, and I observed you and I watched you, and you bit your tongue, and you you sucked it up, and you did you did the right thing for the long term, but maybe not the right thing if you think about it. But uh, that turned out well, though. It did turn out well. Yeah, they uh, recently uh, uh, invited a client of mine to come into the house, view the house. I had nothing but praise for the house. Right. And uh, they were uh, 
and of course, I sent them a little uh, dinner certificate, which they were unexpected. And anyway, they turned we turned them into good, right. satisfied clients. That's exactly. You right. know, Bill, on remodel, one of the things I'd like to take this opportunity to to talk about the builders that that are going to be at the Home and Garden Show and the builders that are members of the Moore County Home Builder Association are all licensed builders. I've witnessed individuals who, uh, you know, needed a carpenter to rehang a door or, you know, well, we might just use him and help let him help us get this done. Um, mm -hmm. That's when all the little things they don't know about pops up mm -hmm. yeah, when there, there are some people who are capable of handling those type of things and there are some people who just aren't uh, you know their personality is such they can't and they don't realize the plumber is connected to the carpenter is connected to the electrician so when individuals start trying to do their own remodel uh, there are a lot of pitfalls out there and they should take that into consideration and uh, I've seen situations where some of our younger families move into town and they're building a house and then during the course of the construction they approach the builder and they say, hey, I just can get a great deal on this hardwood floor uh, up in Apex. If I bring it down here, can we install it? Could, could you know, could void the warranty, the home builder, the warranty that you give? Um, everybody's trying to save a nickel here and there and they think they want to help, but that's not necessarily uh, a good thing. It interrupts the flow of work, number one. Yeah. Uh, and we lose, when when we have other people other than the people that are normal subs that we're working with, we lose control. Right. But in the end, the client holds us responsible for that control. That's right. That's one of the problems of bringing outside in. And sometimes materials we can overcome, but uh, I, for one, don't allow uh, my clients to uh, specify what subs that uh, that I'll use. Right. I, I make a conscious effort to use the best people available. Right. And they they know me. I know them. And right. and uh, so that's that's another pitfall out there. We want I, later in the show. I do want to talk a little bit about the um, construction industry and what's going on here and and some of the demands that are put on the builders. And I don't know that the public's perception is always a hundred percent accurate. And being a real estate broker, I get to see it from their point of view. I certainly get to see it from your point of view. Um, but at the show, people are going to get to see all the, the bells and the whistles, all the things that they can do to add to improve the value of their current home, um, or to discuss the plans and review some of the things that you've done and that you specialize in. Yes. Ken, it's a great opportunity um, for you to tell your story and um, People can come in and they can compare apples with apples, um, the differences between each builder, um, just the whole process. Right. Well, uh, just like Denzel and, and, and Wayne, I, we're in custom construction. We're a design-build firm. Right. Uh, we've also branched off into the renewable energy side of the business, uh, trying to make homes more energy efficient. Right. Um, but really, with, with our field, I think it's a great opportunity for folks to see that there isn't just a typical delta faucet. There are a whole range of, of items you can put in the home that really aren't that much more expensive, mm -hmm. that really make the home a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of energy efficient things you can incorporate into the home, mm -hmm. such as geothermal heat pumps, instant hot water heaters, uh, solar hot water heaters, and even solar electric hot water heaters. So there's a lot of products out there that, that are uh, innovative mm -hmm. and really make the, ho the home a much uh, cheaper uh, long term, right? Long term thing to run, and and don't be afraid of those products. They, they do work. They're 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 te tried and tested. And so, um, so I'll, I'll play devil's advocate sure. because a lot of people will say, well, yeah, I love green. I, green technology is great, but oh my gosh, what a what a cost up front. I mean, and a lot of people aren't willing to pay that cost. There's so many people today in our market who want to get everything they can get at the lowest possible price and it's kind of hard to incorporate a lot of the green technology. Well, my answer to that is if you, if you look at the long-term cost of that product, like let's take for example solar panels, um, you can increase your mortgage right. by like $20,000. Those solar panels are going to save you double what they're going to cost you on your mortgage monthly. Mm -hmm. So, and, and they're now warranted for 25 years. We expect them to last 35. Yeah. So, uh, you know, boy, it, it's a no brainer to install them. And then on top of that, there is a 65% tax credit, you know, 30 from the federal government and 35% from the state. So it's like you're able to take equity out of your home 
right up front by those tax credits. It's right. a great deal. Yeah, and people who have um, a long vision, a long-sighted vision, can see the value in that. I, I wish that everybody did. They don't always. It's what can you do for me today? It's hard. It is. Well, if you even look at the fact that the solar panels, not only are they saving you money, yeah. they're actually helping the environment because you're making power without burning anything. Right. So it's a, it's a great way to help the environment and to help your wallet. Right. Um, this show is going to be running for the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday next weekend. It's always been the best deal in town for the weekend. Um, is it? Uh, tell me what the fee is to get in for the weekend. Do we know? I, is think, it I think it's just five dollars, and I apologize for not knowing that exactly. And uh, so it's it's very very minimal, and uh, we will have a golf cart yeah. uh, roaming the parking lot, so uh, you know you won't have to truck up there too far we'll pick you up and take you back to your car right it's um it's a great uh weekend um it's a great networking opportunity for people and um for the association members and um, um we want to come back in the second set and we want to talk a little bit about um the moore county home builders and what sets them apart from just any contractor uh, working in Moore County. Well, I would like to take this opportunity to invite all of our inspectors and uh, local uh, politicians, mayors, councilmen uh, to come Thursday evening to our preview evening. Yeah, let's open with yeah. that in the second set. All right. Um, and we'll come back and talk about it. This is all things Moore County, talking about the upcoming um, Moore County Home Builders uh, Spring and Garden Expo. In the middle of a Welcome back to our second set. We're talking about the Spring Home and Garden Expo, which is going to be taking place the weekend of March the 6th, uh, 7th and 8th, next weekend. And we, we're guaranteeing that spring is going to be here for the show. It's going to be held at the Fair Barn. Um, Friday, the show opens at uh, 12 o'clock. It's open till 5 that day. Saturday, they're open all day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Sunday, they're open at 11, and um, they will close up shop at 5 p.m. that day. Um, tickets are five dollars. It's a great deal. You come in on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. It's a five dollar ticket uh, for the whole day. Um, with you can meet all the the top contractors in Moore County, design experts, landscape experts, as Wayne said, plumbing experts, HVAC people, carpeting, flooring, anything that uh, would you would look at to consider to make some changes to your home or if you're building a home to help formulate your plans and to um, uh, talk directly to the the builders and these are all top builders um, Moore County Home Builders um, Association their uh, mission statement I just want to read it and just talk a little bit about it before we talk about the special preview night on Thursday March the 5th um, we are an association of building industry professionals partnering with our community to promote responsible development and a high quality of life through education, advocacy, and community involvement. That says it pretty well, Ken, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. It's a, it's a great organization to be a part of as a builder, the, the camaraderie between builders. The yeah. uh, We get to talk about the subcontractors and suppliers that are doing the best job out there. And also, if, if you run into a problem, you've got fellow builders there that can help you that might have had some you know, different experiences on how to handle that problem. Yeah. Uh, and then there are the benefits. Uh, the insurance through Builders Mutual Insurance, a great company. Uh, do a great job for us. Uh, you, you get also incentives uh, from Chevrolet and from Lowe's Hardware and, and such. So that it's really a great, great program. And then as a group, uh, you, you have the the ability to to lobby the the state to help 
promote the building industry, which is, I think, has been a, a huge benefit for us. Right. Your association with, um, just for instance, um, Locust Lumber, right. um, the association that the members have with um, some of the local suppliers is, is a top-notch uh, association that the consumer will ultimately benefit from. Um, working with uh, a builder who's a member of um, uh, Moore County Home Builders. Um, J.D. Cuff couldn't be with us today, but um, they've been a great partner to all of you um, in your efforts. I've seen it. Um, you pick up the phone and boom, they're there. Yeah, that's, that's what it's about. <laughs> I mean, it's, um, you know, there's there's several suppliers. They all have two befores on the shelf. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's service and uh, it, it's the quality of the materials also. And uh, that, that extra effort uh, means a lot, uh, you know, to the builder when he's, you know, trying to, to, to put his product together. Yeah. Um, I think also, too, yeah. the uh, the building supplies are also the ones that do a lot of ed education for us. They're going to introduce us to new and better products and practices. Right. So it's another benefit that we get from Locust and, and uh, Belk and uh, Builders First Source and uh, Parks Building Supply. They're yeah. all great. Yeah. The cooperation um, and the camaraderie that you talk about is, is best displayed um, on your preview night. Um, amongst the members, um, Thursday, March the 5th, uh, from 6 to 8. What, what do they see at the preview night, Denzel? Well, it just gives the people who are involved in the show a chance to see what others are doing because they're going to be busy during the show manning their booths. And it gives us an opportunity to uh, thank our uh, vendor, uh, suppliers who are our sponsors. Without the sponsorship of those people, quite frankly, the show wouldn't be possible. Right. So it gives us as a, a builders and, a, and other associates an opportunity to thank these people and uh, to visit with them and, and uh, like the, that's our way of saying thanks for helping us out. That, that, right. uh, that event will be you know, attended by you know, more builders than probably any event we have the entire year. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's closed, you know. This invitation is from the home for the home builders, and um, personally, it gives me an opportunity to to go to booth to booth and see different things and items that, that different folks have to offer. Uh, it gives me a lot of insight on on things I know that are available, you know, for me, right? You know, to offer to my clients, and uh, you know, it, it's it's. Uh, it's a wonderful event. You know, we've got uh, we've got some great sponsors. I'd like to mention uh, yeah. that that you know work with us on that. It'd be very hard to have this without them. Right. Um, Ferguson Enterprises uh, is a local plumbing supply. Uh, actually, they're a national plumbing supply, but they're our gold sponsor this year. Uh, Superior Walls and Blarney Stone are a silver sponsor, and we appreciate that. And then we have some some bronze sponsors that are just as important. Uh, Aberdeen Exterminating, Chick-fil-A, uh, John Coles Plumbing, Cary Granite, Service Building Supply, who's a, a new member actually and found some uh, merit into in being involved immediately, Parks Building Supply, uh, and Pest Management Supplies. Uh, we we uh, have some opportunities still available. Um, I saw something this morning. I think Jeremy Louder is uh, is going to to be a sponsor now also with, with his plumbing supply okay. or service there. So, um, you know, it's a uh, it, it, it's a real tribute to our members, and you know, whether they're builders or vendors or you know subcontractors or you know, we just have a we're up to like 220 members now. So our association is healthy. It's growing. Um, you know, it's pretty exciting to see, you know, the, the comeback that's, ha that's taking place. For the contractors, the vendors that are out there who are contemplating um, joining the association, um, what kind of dues um, would, would someone look at? The dues, you know, do, do you know that exact number, Denzel? It's, uh, it's right around $500. I can't yeah. remember if right. it's right over or right under. And, of course, those dues gives them a membership to the Moore County Home Builders, right. North Carolina Home Builders, and NAHB. So they have a membership to all three. They get the benefits of all three. And I might add, if a builder, you know, this show is when when the, our local builders who aren't members of our association say, well, what what benefit would I get out of the association? This is just one of those benefits. And mm -hmm. then if they look at the benefits of the discounts that are available and um, 
and also you know, education. Uh, coming next month, we have our uh, Builder Institute uh, classes up in Raleigh. So I think there's some like 12, 14 different topics ranging all the way from management to codes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, every segment of the building industry. And then we do that again at our um, uh, 21st Century Building Show over in Raleigh every mm -hmm. year, uh, excuse me, in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So if you don't keep yourself educated in our industry, it's not like it's just like any other industry. You're going to fall behind if you don't keep up with uh, what's happening, what's going on. Right. Uh, so, you know, if somebody, uh, this might be a commercial here, but if there's a builder out there who wants to know one of the benefits they can get from being a home builder member, yeah. this is one of them. Yeah. You can go ahead. Ken. Well, I also think that uh, for the suppliers and the subcontractors, you know, just being part of this organization, you know, monthly you have the opportunity to to interact with the builders that are built in this area, and and you get a chance to educate them on the different products you carry. Like Ferguson Enterprises, our gold sponsor, they are not just a plumbing supply; they have appliances and lighting, so they're almost a full service supplier. Right. Uh, but you get the chance to explain that to the builders and show them the product that you offer monthly if you'd like to right so and on the you know, on the national level with the, with the national association I, I just returned from the national uh, convention and uh, the, the building show uh, it is huge it is 25 acres under roof it's just amazing but I gained a tremendous amount of information with you know new clips used for you know Trex decking and um, you know I'm doing a, an indoor pool right now and what, how I needed to do to waterproof that and with the with the tile that's coming up beside it with some different techniques. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I gained, you know, a tremendous amount of information and, uh, you know, went by just attending that show and, you know, without being a member of the Moore County Home Builders Association, you know, I, I couldn't have attended it. Right. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very impressive. Uh, people can go onto your website to just get information about the association if they do want to join. Yes. And that's www.mchba.com. Um, so next Thursday night, you have your um, preview night, but you also have awards. Um, can, can we talk about those awards? And the public will get to see, I guess, those are the results that come out, but then they'll get to read about them? Right. It, um, you know, at this point... Uh None of the builders are aware if they won anything or not. The judging uh, was judged um, independently with people that, uh, you know, not necessarily members of the Home Builders Association. And um, uh, the, you know, the builders could not be present when they judged the, the different homes or the additions. Um, you know, I think a, a builder could be present for a renovation on a remodel, like historical or something, in case there's any questions from the, mm -hmm. you know, from the committee. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's uh, there's several categories, and maybe as many as 30 different categories, from from homes or different different categories of homes, as with homes with price ranges to, uh, you know, bathroom additions, renovations, uh, you know, master uh, bedroom additions. Uh, you know, whole house renovations, historical. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it's uh, uh, it's it's a, it's a great way that uh, you know our local association can can uh, you know honor or, or you know give some focus on some builders that they're doing good jobs. All right, and um, people read those articles. They pick those those. Ma is it the Pine Straw Magazine? Yeah, that's going to have it out. I guess in their March um, yeah, edition, it'll right? It'll be in the March edition. So yeah. it'll probably come out a day or two after the uh, awards day. Uh, huh? About two weeks, I think. Oh, after, it is two after weeks. The show, yeah. So uh, okay. you know, we'll have an area uh, at the show mm -hmm. that will, uh, you know, designate who the winners are and you know in the categories. But uh, okay, uh, you know, it'll be a, it's a fun event. You yeah. know, when we have that uh, with our association. Okay, we, um, we're going to come back in the third set. I want to talk a lot to you guys about the industry in general, um, some of the things that are going on since 07, 08, and how it's changed the dynamics of our market. Um, uh, should be an interesting conversation. We're talking about the Spring Home and Garden Expo uh, to be held next weekend, March 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, we'll be right back.
Welcome to our um, our final set talking about the Spring Home and Garden Expo. Um, we're privileged to have Wayne Haddock of Pinehurst Homes, Ken Bonville of Bonville Construction, and Denzel Williams of Integrity Builders with us. All fine builders, um, all integral parts of the Moore County Home Builders Association. The event is next weekend, March the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th, and it's going to be at the Fair Barn. It's a $5 ticket. Um, we understand that uh, all the booths are sold, so it's going to be full representation um, and lots of good information for the consumer to come, Wayne. Correct. Yeah, all the booths are sold and uh, got a you know, a great uh, uh, number of builders and vendors and subcontractors. Uh, be just a, a world source of information there. And for the people who uh, are new to Moore County who haven't been to a show, they might not have been to the Fairborn. What a beautiful building it is. Um, uh, right off Highway 5 and uh, on Beulah Hill Road South. Um, next Friday, it opens at 12 noon. It'll go till 5. Saturday, the 7th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Sunday, the 8th, from 11 to 5. Um, three different days, three opportunities to, um, to get out and, and learn a lot about the industry, uh, whether you're renovating, whether you're contemplating building a home, um, or whether you're just out um, for future ideas because one of the things that's so nice about the show is you don't feel like you're being sold. Um, you can walk from booth to booth and these members will talk to you and they'll have conversations with you um, just to plant seeds for the future. Um, so it becomes a, a great social networking opportunity um, and uh, it's usually very well attended. Yeah, we're expecting a you know large crowd, and uh, yeah. you know being at the fair barn, you know, is a real asset. We feel like also it's a great location, uh, good parking. Uh, as Denzel said earlier, we'll have a golf cart available to to transport folks that need that, you know, uh, to the building itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but the parking is is close, so it's it's uh, you yeah. know it's just it's a good menu to have. Yeah, and five dollars a day is um, is a great great um, great value. Um, I've been here since um, 1999, and I've seen uh, lots of ups and lots of downs, um, and now ups again. The market has been busy. Um, there's been a lot of activity. Um, um, but one of the things that I'm always amazed at is um, some of the sometimes the misperceptions people have of builders, uh, how much their margins are so great, and how much they make. And it isn't. It's a t it's a tight business you to to make a product you guys work very close to the vest to, to make people happy yeah, you've got to be competitive is the bottom line right you know and um, yeah I, I, I personally you know with Pinehurst Homes we use you know contractors subs that you know that uh, have been with us quite a while right. uh, we have to make sure that they're competitive and uh, uh, then so we can be competitive so it's extremely important and you know the margins uh, are nowhere near what they used to be. You know, there's a there's a fine line there, right. and uh, you know things are still expensive. I mean, you know, materials are, have continued to go up regardless of what's happened with the economy. Yeah. Uh, interesting enough, labor prices have, have pretty much been exactly the same for the last seven eight years. Uh, you know, I would watch materials go up and pricing go up. Uh, you know, the the labor uh, has stayed uh, consistent. Right. Right. Um, the craftsman style has become very popular over the last couple of years, Denzel. And yeah. It has. And uh, however, I'm seeing a change now. Uh, you know, most of our trends start on the West Coast. Right. And then they work their way to Texas and Florida, and then they work their way to the rest of the country. Northeast is sort of, you know, has its own little conservative niche up there. But... It's interesting to see that a lot of the new design is becoming more contemporary, uh, which is interesting. The first That's all I built the first five years I was in the business was contemporary houses. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons that contemporary is coming back, it lends itself to the, the new uh, passive solar green movement. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little easier to, to design around that. and. Uh, uh, so that's a trend that we're seeing, and I think we'll see that uh, come here. In fact, I've got a client right now um, that we're working with, and I was shocked when I saw the house they wanted to build because it's ultra-contemporary. Right. Uh, 
uh, and it's and it'll be in Whisper Pines, which uh, is a little unusual, uh-huh. also. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you know we're, we are seeing that, and uh, of course, uh, you know as far as the pricing concerned, just let me mention I just uh, got a price increase from my our, our concrete ready mix supplier, and it was thirty percent more than it was last year. Mm-hmm. So you know how do you how do you handle that? Uh, obviously. The builder doesn't make a profit. He can't stand by his warranty. So the homeowners don't want someone to come in and build them a house and then not be able to take care of any issues that might arise. Mm-hmm. So it's just another factor that everybody has to consider. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's, and when you're dealing with out of town builders versus local builders, right. I think the warranty issue should be considered uh, carefully. By the home buyers, right? Um, so I, uh, you know, I everybody has an opportunity to do business, but uh, we are seeing our margins uh, get smaller and smaller, right? As we try to compete with the volume builder, who won't necessarily be using the same quality of craftsmen yeah. that the local builders use. Well, I, th- I think as a, as a custom builder, though, I don't think we're affected by the trends as much. That's the, the nice thing about being in the custom business is that, you know, the homeowner will come in with a vision that they want, and we're able to meet that vision. Like, we're still building all brick homes, which is very right. unusual in these days right. because of the cost. Right. Um, but as far as the cost issue, I think as, as a custom builder, your margin is going to have to be a lot smaller because you can't take advantage of economies of scale. You're not churning out cookie cutter houses on small lots we're building much larger homes homes that match the vision of what that homeowner wants yeah and uh, obviously they're going to use a lot more quality materials in the home which are obviously more expensive um i'm seeing a, a change in demographics i'm seeing a, a change in demand um uh, over the last couple of years um with a lot of younger people coming into town one of the greatest concerns that um, we have in our market today is um, the future value and um, uh, the appraise- people used to always come in and buy a home or a new home or what, and they didn't even think twice about it because they knew in four or five years the home would be worth more than it was the day they bought it and they could improve it or do whatever they wanted to it. That isn't the case anymore. Um, today it's all about resale. It's the ability to resell. We have people who are more transient moving into Moore County who aren't here for, for more than five years, and they're buying a property, and then they go to sell it. Um, and there's a lot of competition in certain areas. And in other areas, um, y- you don't have the competition. And if you don't have the competition, it gives you a little bit more um, ability to, to resell more quickly um, because the appraised appraisals are coming in and people are much more mindful of it especially the younger um, buyers I know Denzel you've um, maybe get more involved in um, making sure that the homes that you build are going to be um, under the, 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 the lid or doing the very best you can to keep it where it needs to be for the financing to work it's it's a tough challenge yeah. it's uh, pretty much a, a work backwards for me uh, uh, yeah. I uh, I like to talk to, uh, unfortunately, we have some appraisers that will share with you. And so there's no sense of, of building a house or telling someone you can build a and get an appraisal on a $500,000 house when it's in a $300,000 house community. Right. Uh, that's one of the big changes that we've seen. Pinehurst is a infill lot right. situation in a lot of cases. And in the past, that hadn't made too much difference. but. Right. Uh, if the appraiser can't find resales that'll justify it, it's a t- it's a tough situation for the uh, right. uh, for the public to have to deal with, and for us as builders to have to deal with because yeah. uh, you know b- something you mentioned earlier, Bill, about the perception of the public yeah. thinking that builders' margins are great. Right. Uh, I think if you if you check with national publications, you'll find out the average rate of return for builders after taxes is less than 10 percent i would think it would be substantially less than 10 percent yeah so uh, (laughs) you know compare that to the margin of apple if you will 
when they're making 20 and 30 percent margins right now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're uh, and with and the risk involved. I I really don't know of of any industry other than maybe drilling for oil. Right. That has a greater risk than the building industry today. Right. Because there are so many factors that we simply do not have control over. Right. And uh, we're building a product that takes uh, enough time to produce that the market can change vir- virtually before you get the product to market. Yeah. So it's t- it's uh, it's challenging, and it's what we love to do, or we wouldn't I wouldn't still be doing it after 35 years. We try so hard on our end as brokers to communicate the um, the risk. Um, that you have the razor thin margins and what needs to be put into a home to to meet the criteria of the buyer and it's not just a price point it's it's what goes into the property Um, and that takes time and education but you also need a buyer who has the wisdom and the um, the vision to see down the road it's not just um, um, going in and buying something that's brand spanking new in a development where there are another 20 or 30 homes that are all very similar. Now you're putting yourself into a competitive situation when resale comes around. Um, It's just one of the ways our market has changed. But, Wayne, one of the things that's so good about our market, the interest rate environment is still so favorable. Yes, it is. That's one thing. It is. You know, the interest rate uh, uh, is good. And, uh, you know, the the custom home building uh, industry is... Uh, you know, we're we're seeing some activity, you know, again, and um, it's been a while. Right. Um, I mean, it's been quite a while. It, uh, you know, for the last three, four years, I've built maybe one home a year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I've got, you know, two or three we're looking at, and we're talking to a few people. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, um, you know, when, when the economy, you know, when we had our problem back in, you know, 07, 08, uh, you know, been in the retirement uh, market for home construction, uh, I had quite a few customers that said, you know, well, you know, I'm not, I cannot retire now at 65. I'm going to have to work until I'm 70. Right. You do the math, they're 70. <laughs> and I'm getting the phone calls, and they're saying, well, we, we, we had a discussion, my wife and I, and we, we decided that, you know, are we going to, to build in Pinehurst or are we going to stay where we are? And the ones that decided they were going to, to build in Pinehurst, regardless, you know, that's where the phone's ringing. Mm-hmm. Uh, because that, that time period is, I mean, they're either going to retire here now or they're, or they're not. Mm-hmm. And so we are seeing some activity there, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, w- which has been good. But, um, you know, the custom home market is, uh, uh, it, it never will be what it was. I'm certain of that. But uh, there is some activity there. But. Right. Uh, you know, it's not thriving by any means. Right. Well, I think we're, we're seeing quite a bit. We actually have three homes in design right now, building one right now. So it's really picked up for us in the in the past two years. Right. And these are mainly retirement homes is what we're looking at. Yeah, the high uh, end is, has been strong. It's getting strong again, isn't it? It is. And, and if you look yeah. at, too, I think a lot of the, the high, high end folks now are even considering having to buy some homes in Pinehurst. Uh, and then us fix them up and remodel them because we can take yeah. a home and basically if uh-huh. it's got good bones we can really do quite a bit to make it meet, match their vision for what they want now. Yeah. So one of the things I see in in Moore County um, with a lot of the people in their late 60s, early 70s, there is a shortage of really good downsized opportunities for people who who might have been living in a home in Pinehurst or Southern Pines who want to scale back, who want to go into a, a 15 to 1800 square foot home. They're just, so many of them that are available are just so aged. There's not a, enough uh, enough options out there because um, we get calls for that all the time now, people who want to sell their home and downsize, but they want to go into something that feels new, that's single level living. Um, have you seen that or heard of that at all? Well, I think that's our job as, as you know, remodelers is to Show them these these homes, and, yeah. and really, people can't really see past the the bad, ugly carpet and the you know the unpainted walls that are you know distressed. But our job is to try to give them a vision of what this can look like, and right. I think we've been pretty successful doing that. Going in, and we took a contemporary home in National and and made it look like a craftsman style. You can do these things. It's right. just it, just a little bit of work, and a lot of these folks are willing to do that. Right. Right. So. Okay. Um, one of the other things that has changed a lot since 08, um, 
the, the regulations that um, help to drive the costs up to dental. I mean, we, we talk, we've spoken about this in the past, but um, it's, it's not easier. You've got to do a lot of tiptoeing. It gets more difficult each day. Yeah. I just came back from the uh, for, uh, first quarter board meeting in uh, Raleigh. Yeah. Um, and one of the, you know, the main functions of our state and national association is the uh, advocacy, um, trying to keep controls over everybody wanting everything in a house and thinking the builder can provide it and still make a profit and provide a warranty. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be following, at least uh, right now, uh, about another 30, 40 bills this, uh, this year. Yeah. At the, and just at our state level of uh, new regulations uh, that have been proposed mm -hmm. and changes, and, and most of which will add cost to the house, mm -hmm. many without providing any additional benefits. Uh, nationally right now, from the time you take a piece of raw dirt and turn it into a livable unit for someone, there's at least $30,000 for a 2,000 square foot house. That is fees, regulations, all of that that didn't didn't put one nail in it, one piece of lumber in it, or anything. And in one of those areas that we're fighting right now, there is a big push for sprinkler systems in houses. One of our builders brought to the meeting a handful of these wonderful pipes that he's had to deal with uh -huh. with our cold weather this year. They're uh -huh. frozen and busted. And uh -huh. a couple of them were for people who are out of town, right. so virtually destroyed their home. Right. And uh, that's just a, an example of overzealous regulations mm -hmm. uh, that we deal with on a constant basis. Yeah. Uh, it, and it's not going to go away. It's uh, going to just keep going on. I think you guys do a great job, and I hope the public gets an opportunity uh, at the show um, to talk with you. Um, and I think they're starting. People are starting to understand what the builders are up against to to put a product out there that um, meets all the regulations, fulfills the needs of the consumer, um, and, and to form a partnership. Because to to be successful, you have to have a very good partnership with the people you're working with. Do it's, it's a team effort. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it, it's a team effort from. And this is yeah. Mr. Patience over here. I will tell you from firsthand experience, you have got to be patient, don't well, you? Well, that's part of it, you know, and you've got to, but you've got to have some foresight, you know. It, it, yeah. um, you've got to, you know, to, to you know, see what's happening. You've got to, you got to have some <clears> real vision, um, you know, which, which you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have. So a lot of times I wish I could just, people could just see what I see. Right. Because uh, it's uh, you know it's just a finished product and you know mm -hmm. the way it looks, but uh -huh. but it it you know it, it's a team effort right on the electricians, plumbers, heating and air. It goes on and on. Everyone has to work together right. uh, to to make it you know come come to to get to fruition to be great is what you've got to do. Well, it's all going to come to life uh, next weekend at the Fair Barn. Um, uh, Friday, the 6th of March through Sunday, the 8th of March. Um, Friday, the show's going to open at 12 noon at the Fairborn. Saturday, it'll open at 9 and be open till 5 each day. And Sunday, from 11 to 5, um, it's going to be a full house. It's a great venue. And um, tickets are $5. Um, and it truly is the right of the first right of spring here in Moore County. So I hope you guys have handled the weather because that's going to bring a lot of people out. Wayne Haddock, um, Pinehurst Homes, thanks for joining us. Ken Bonville, Bonville Construction, thank you. Thank you. And Denzel Williams from Integrity Builders of the Santos. I hope you guys all have a great show next week. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, guys. Have a great week.